Okay, good morning everybody. It's about a quarter after 10 in the morning on Thursday. I'm sitting in my parents' driveway. I am remote accessing uh, and doing a bunch of uh, telecommuting for work. There's no need for me to be in my office today. Uh, as all I'm doing is just sysadmin stuff uh, and some, uh, you know, graphic arts. You know, I don't need to be at my desk to do that. I can do it in my van from wherever. So, this morning... Uh, I watched a video from Susie's full-time van life where she was describing a problem she was having with her van where first thing in the morning when the engine is cold it would idle really really high and then when the engine warms up it would idle really really low and uh, this video is about uh, how to fix that now as I recall her van is like a 1992 or 1994 or something like that and my van big blue here is a 1986 and what ties them together what the common thread amongst these fans is that they use the same fuel injection system it's called EEC4 or electronic engine control version number four an idle is controlled by something called an IAC valve or idle air control valve or what Ford likes to call an air bypass valve and here is what it looks like that's it I'm going to show you where it's located. There you go. That right there. Grats. This is the air intake, and the hoses go to the air cleaner, and the IAC is located and bolted directly to the side of it. And uh, here's the throttle where you're gas pedal is attached to and underneath here you can just see the in the drawing in the drawing your TPS or throttle position sensor but that's where it is anyways it's two 10 millimeter bolts so all you have to do is have Chris uh, remove it unplug it and remove it and turn it around just like that and look inside the IAC valve and of course before you do that they all, sh he should also inspect the gasket make sure the gasket's not broken if it is replace the gasket this is like 50 cents this is a common problem with Ford's EEC4 so what you want to do here and let me grab something to point point at it what you want to do here is grab some carburetor cleaner uh, not mineral spirits but something real like B12 chem tool and shoot it inside here. Now this little uh, round pole is what actually controls your idle. There's a motor inside here and that opens and closes this plunger and that controls your idle. When it becomes clogged you can see high idle or low idle. So to clean this out 80% of the time that's the entire problem, especially when you don't drive on the freeway all that often with your Ford. These things get gummed up pretty good. Now me personally, I carry one of these as a spare at all times. I keep this in my van because, you know, why not? And I can't remember where I got this one from. I think I got this from AutoZone. I'm not sure, but here's the brand. That's a cheapo. Normally I would never buy this brand. I would buy Napa, you know, uh, I would buy AC Delco, or I would buy, you know, standard products. Uh, never Duralast, but it's cheap, and uh, when I need it, I need it. And here's the part number. TV202. Yeah, I think it was like 20 bucks. But that's it. That's all you got to do. Pretty easy. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a great day. I'm Once again, I'm just telecommuting today and just being a bum. I'm going to make myself some tacos. Yummy. Some vegetarian tacos, of course. I'm not much of a meat eater. Uh, and just kind of enjoying my day. i got to go back to work in my office tomorrow morning. Uh, and I'm going to spend the weekend over there. Okay, see you later.